how does how does God how is God even real? Hello, Miss Maddie. It's Pastor Chuck, but you already knew that. So I heard that you were wondering whether God was real. And you know what? That's a really good question. Even big people don't even know how to answer that question. I don't even know if I know how to answer that question, but I'm going to do the best I can because I just got your text and I totally love the idea of you wanting to know. So here's the deal. Point number one, just because we can't see something doesn't mean that it's not real, right? I mean, we can't see God, so we might think, well, if we can't see God, it must not be real. But I believe in a lot of things that I can't see, like, I don't know, air. <sighs> I'm breathing right now. I believe in air because if I didn't believe in air, if I didn't have air, I'd be blue and it, it wouldn't go very well with me. So right now you are breathing air, air that you can't even see. You believe in air and it's real. Even though you can't see it, it's real. Okay, so that's one thing. So just because you can't see something doesn't mean it's not real. Even though you can't see it, it might be real. God can't see, he's real. Okay, there's another thing. I love seeing things grow. Check this out. See this little plant? This, and this is a lot of things, this is like a bamboo and some other little thing, but this little guy is called an ivy. And I snipped a little piece of ivy. It was only this big, I promise you, it was only this big from California like four years ago. And I brought it home, put it in water, and the roots started growing. And then when it got big, I snipped off another piece and put it in water and started growing. How did that work? I don't know. I'm not doing anything. I'm not making it grow. All I'm doing is snipping it, stick it in the water, and it's making it grow. I think it's God making it grow. Because, yeah, I mean, the sun makes it grow and the water makes it grow. But who made the sun and the water? God. So who's making it grow? I think it's still God. Okay, here's another one. You know what an avocado is? Like if you ever have like guacamole, that like green gooey thing. Well, in the middle of an avocado is an avocado seed. And it looks kind of like this. But what I did is I stuck it in some water. See, stuck it in some water. And then what are these little dangly things? They're roots. Again, did I do anything? Useful? No. All I did is stick it in water, waited like, I don't know, a month, so it took a long time, and then we got little roots growing on there. And once again, I love seeing things grow. Why? Because it reminds me that God is doing the work. All I did is stick it in some water, and it started growing. Now, how did the, the roots know to go down and not go up? I don't know. God's pretty smart. And if I wait long enough, I bet you on the top, it'll grow a little thing, and then there'll be some leaves, and they'll grow into an avocado plant. Why? I don't know. God designed the stuff in there. This isn't going to grow up to be a hippopotamus. It's going to grow up to be an avocado tree. Why? Because God made it and God's in control. So that's why I love seeing things grow because it reminds me that God is real and God's around even though I can't see him. So that's what I do to kind of remind myself that God's around. So I bet you there are things in your life that you can look at and go, hmm, I don't know how that works. That's pretty cool. And it may be God doing the work. So just take a look around. There's millions of things that you can see in this world to remind you that mm, maybe God's doing it and not me or not my mom or not my dad or not my sister or not my brother or anything else like that. Okay, so let me know what you think and I'd love to know what's in your noodle because God talks through you and if you tell me things, I get to hear from God too. So love you guys. Say hello to your whole family. I miss you and I'll see you in church soon. Okay, take care.